For if a man thinketh himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. This is coming out of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. Today we're going to talk about self deception. Call your neighbor, call your friend, anybody that you feel needs to hear something about self deception. And we're going to talk about it. So let's get into the video. What are we talking about when we're talking about self deception? It means basically what it says we're deceiving our own self. Glory to God. We hide the truth, we tell all kind of lies, we try to convince ourselves that a lie is the truth, and the truth is a lie. Glory to God. When we're dealing with uh, self deception, it involves de denying or rationalizing away evidence. You people got evidence. And, and we try to ration it away. We got to try to come up with all kinds of excuses and all types of reasons as to why it's not what it says. People who uh, practice self-deception may try to hide their, their self-knowledge, that they know what they're saying is not right, but that's just what they're going to believe anyway. You know, I think a lot of times about people that are saved, we, we try to rationalize out of what the truth of a matter is and try to turn that situation around, pray it around that, and we believe God is going to move on that behalf. We're, we're walking in the spirit of, of a deception. We, we know the truth, but we don't accept the truth and we try to turn it around and we look for God to turn that thing around too. I really don't believe God operates race like that. The way from what I understand in the scriptures that God operates on truth. Now God is God can do anything that he wants to. But God it will not violate his word. He said heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. It's going to stand forever. So that's why I say all the time that if you want to know something get in the word and follow the word because the word going to always exist. It's going to always be here cuz God said it and I believe it. It don't matter whether I believe it or not, but God said it, and and that's just it. So we cannot afford to walk in the spirit of being deceived. Abide in the word and say what the word says and let the word do what it do. Let God be God. Let his word be his word and let it do what it's supposed to do. Glory to God. And when we deal with, with uh, self-deception, uh, there's a thing called self-enhancement, and this is when people overestimate their good qualities to make themselves feel better. And, and, and many times, even in that, people will make everybody else look bad and feel bad so they can feel good. I don't understand that. Never understood that why people do that, but people do it. Glory to God. And then there's another one called overconfidence, where people appear more competent and have a higher social status than they really do glory to god and they call their faith i don't understand that some people call it faith but it is what it is now we're going to talk about uh, examples of self-deception and what i got in my notes and i am going to my notes. yeah i got notes glory to god because i have to i'm 63 i got to have some notes because i can't remember everything glory to god Example of self-deception is claiming to be an important painter. Somebody claimed that, oh, I'm the greatest painter that there ever was, when you're really not. You're not that good. You can't paint. And you don't want nobody to tell you, you can't. That's like cooking. People, oh, I'm the best cook in the world. I can cook. There can't nobody beat me cooking this barbecue. Then you cook barbecue and it tastes like water. It has no flavor, no taste, and people don't like it. But it, you will not allow them to say that they don't like it. Because you look at them and if they say, and thing, I'm going to say like the old people say, and thing that you don't like, then you mad. You mad with them and you want to destroy them and take them out. Because you believe in that you're the greatest that there ever was. Another example is believing that your performance was due to yourself. I I uh came uh I overcame that situation because of what I did. You don't even acknowledge God and nobody else, you just acknowledge yourself. Everything that happened good in your life is because of what you did. Everything that happened bad in your life is because of what somebody else did. That's usually the person that's walking in self-deception. They're always trying to blame other people 
for their mishaps and things that's going wrong in their life and never take a time and self-examine. The Bible tells us in many situations to examine ourselves to see whether or not we're in faith, to see whether or not you're in truth and see whether or not you're walking in love because these things work together. Another example of self-deception is compromising yourself to meet cultural norms. We compromise ourselves to, to stay within culture. We compromise ourselves to, to, uh, to look like other people. We want to run with the Jones and ride with the Jones and be up there. We want to be rich and famous, and we try to live that lifestyle, even though we know that we're needy and, and that we're, we're poor and that we need some, but we got people thinking that we just we just got it all. We wear the fine clothes and drive the nice cars and live in the big houses. And people don't know we're living from from paycheck to paycheck. That we're robbing Peter to pay Paul, but because we're trying to put this persona out there that we're a certain way and we're not. And I don't know why we do that, but people do that. Be who you are. Be your real authentic self and allow God to bless you. Glory to God. And that people say, well, fake it till you make it. I don't believe in that because I believe faking is a form of lying. I believe that it is lying. Fake it till you make it. I, I, I ain't doing that. I, it, it don't work for me. I'm going to be who I am and where I am. I'm going to continue to believe God to take me to the next level. And if he don't, I'm still good. Glory to God. I learned. I'm like Apostle Paul says, I learned to be content in whatever state I am. I learned how to be a base and I learned how to be a bow. I know how to go in and out and what to do and when to do. Glory to God. I, I'm not always known that I had to learn these things. Glory to God. But I dare not try to keep up with other people. I am who I am by the grace of God. And I thank God for who I am even now. But we're, I'm not going to compromise myself to meet people's norms. I have tried to do it, and it didn't work for me. I get frustrated. I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to keep up with people. I'm wanting to be who God called me to be. Glory to God. I don't want to walk in self-deception. That's what we're talking about. People may find it easier to see self-deception in others than in themselves. That's another sign that you're walking in self-deception you can see the bad in everybody else but you can't see what's wrong in your own self mm -hmm. a lot of us do that we can point out everybody's mistakes but we can't see our own and it's, it's like the scripture that talks about you got a great big old log in your eye and you trying to see how to get a splinter out of somebody else's eye now how can you see you got this big log covering everything in your eye but you're trying to pick out a splinter. You can't do it. You can't pick out that splinter. And you got a log sitting up there. So we got to come out of acceptance, even even now. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against the spirit of deception. God, open up our eyes to see. Our eyes have been blinded by the God of this world. And there's certain things that we cannot see. God, but we're praying today that you will open up our eyes. Open up our eyes. Bring us out of obscurity. Those things that are obscuring our vision. Glory to God. Open up our eyes that we may see the way you see God. In Jesus name. Glory to God. When we go into Romans uh, chapter. I think it's chapter 12. I'm reading from my notes. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 through 3. It says I beseech you therefore brethren. By the mercies of God. That you prevent, present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of god we want to be in the perfect will of god glory to god so in order to be in his perfect will we have to renew our minds in what the Lord says, what God said in his word. Glory to God. Like I said earlier, heaven and earth going to pass away. But God said, my word shall never pass away. It shall stand forever. So we're going to have to believe the word of God. We're going to have to walk in the spirit of truth. God, we're going to have to allow God to, to reveal to us what's wrong with us and how we need to 
fix ourselves and get ourselves in order. Glory to God, because we got something to prove that what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will. We want to be in the perfect will of God. We want to do what the Lord is telling us to do. I don't want to be in deception. He says, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Operate in the faith wherein God has given you. Figure it out and walk it out in your life. Glory to God. Don't go higher than you think you are. We go higher than we, we, we God is sometimes. We'll take ourselves higher than that. Glory to God. First Corinthians 8, 1 through 2 says, We know that all knowledge, knowledge puff it up. It says, it don't say that. It says, we know that we all have knowledge. That's what it says. Glory to God. I need to put my glasses on. We know that we all have knowledge. And then he talks about knowledge puff it up. But charity edified. We need to walk in charity, which is love. Same thing. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet is he ought to know. So God is letting us know when you get so high-minded that you think you know everything, you walking in self-deception. Because you don't know nothing as you ought to know. It, and all the things we do know is what God gives to us, what God reveals to us. So we got to get it together. God help us on today. So if you like this type of teaching, glory to God. Then subscribe to this channel to hear more teachings like this. Glory to God because that's who I am and that's what I'm all about. Glory to God. Please share this uh, stuff. If you got any questions, put them in the comment section. God bless you on today. I hope that this helps you for our self-deception is if you need to hear more teaching on this situation, then let me know that also in the comment section. And God bless you. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.